day, YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode here on ESG and Net. As we are back here with the third episode of the Los Angeles Chargers here in Madden 19, we are back here, and today is the battle of LA. Yes, this is week three of the NFL season as the Chargers will invade the Coliseum today and take on the Los Angeles Char or Los Angeles uh, Rams, I should say, as uh, the Battle of LA is gonna. This is the first time these two teams will be playing each other since they both move from their uh, prior homes. Of course, the Chargers for formerly the uh, San Diego Chargers, and of course the Rams coming from St. Louis. So uh, these two teams will be. Uh, I think they'll be facing each other every other year. Um, uh, as far as I, if I remember hearing that on television at one time. Uh, but we'll see what the Rams can do here this week as the Rams have won two straight, winning back in week one against the Raiders 30-5. to And then in just last week, uh, had a very nice victory against the Cardinals 28-14 to there. And we'll see what we can do now. As, of course, the Chargers, uh, we've uh, won so far here. We're 2-0, and so this is a battle of the 2-0s and here. We'll see who's going to be the top dog here in L.A. Will it be the Chargers or the Rams? Now, today our main objective is to stop Todd Gurley. As uh, last week, he had a pretty good run there uh, against the Cardinals. So that's going to be A number one there. And, of course, uh, Goff, we're going to try to make sure we keep him contained. And uh, with him contained, we'll try to see if we can just kind of make him one-dimensional in this whole uh, aspect of the game. So really, you know, first and foremost, stop Todd Gurley. If we can stop him, then we can force him to pass. And then that means we can, of course, uh, you know, attack um, Goff from different angles there with using different run, uh, different blitzes and uh, coverages and, and other uh, schemes that we can use throughout the game. So we'll see if that'll work here for us this week here in this game. Of course, like I said, 2-0 and there. Right now they're tied with these uh, Seahawks there at the top spot there in the West. Of course, everything's still early, and anything can uh, still go anybody's way here. And like I said, there you see the two games so far, the Rams have played so far, uh, winning against the Raiders there in week one, 30-5 in Oakland. And of course, at home just last week uh, against the Cardinals, 28-14. to So we'll get into action right now as we'll see Jared Goff, his numbers there so far for the season. Five touchdowns, 517 yards. He is 42-54 uh, in the last two games. So he's been throwing pretty well here. We'll see how well he does here today as he's on the field here. They'll get the ball first here in the first half. We'll get in second. As see Goff here, second and six there. Throws this one. That's going to be a nice pass there. Off to the left-hand side there. And that's going to be a completed pass for a first down. First and ten there. As he throws that one to Everett. So nice catch there. As we'll go now to a first and 10 hurt for the Rams. And they'll hand this one off to Todd Gurley. Gurley makes a nice spin move there. But he will get stopped there at midfield for only a couple. There you see his numbers from last week there. He's having a tough go here. As a lot of teams, uh, you know, he is getting his 100 yards there. But cannot get into the end zone. Third and four now here. Goff drops back here. See what he can do. Throws this one up the middle there. That's going to be a nice catch and brings him down, but that's going to be enough there for the first down as the Chargers having a tough go here. As we'll see, the uh, Rams get stopped there, and that's going to be a nice stop on that play there. And that'll be a loss of three there. So it'll be a second and, uh, was, I believe a second, or yeah, second and 13. Move on now to a, uh, oh, no, actually it'll be a third and nine. We'll see Goff here. He'll throw come back in the 34, or they're at the 34-yard line. There, a nice pass there up the middle there to the right-hand side, and that is going to be a complete pass as Goff's now four or five here in this drive here, and they're definitely moving down the field. Defense here has got to stop them here if we want to get them off the field here and just uh, give up only, really, try to give them only three there, but you see a nice tackle there. But that is going to be just shy of the first down sticks there. It'll be a third and two. Now we'll go third and four as we'll see. we push pushing them back just a little bit there. Not ball in the nine-yard line there. Goff's going to throw this one off to the side there. But he has to throw that one away as he's getting pressured there. And defensively here now, they're just going to have to just settle with three points here as they go on a fourth and four 
on this field goal here. Ball on the nine yard line. Nice kick there. That is up and it is good. And the uh, Rams are on the board here. So Rams get the uh, first points here at the Coliseum. As we'll see now Phillip Rivers what he can do so far there. Two touchdowns, two interceptions here. And like I said, had a bit of a rough game there in the last episode there against the Bills. But we're hoping is he can turn things around here. Third or second and eight. Ball on the 44-yard line. Hand this one off to, there you see, to Gordon. And Gordon uh, having a tough time there getting the bow of the backfield there. As we'll now see a third and six here. Try to convert on this one on the first down. And we'll see with the ball on the 46-yard line. Uh, of course, uh, if you remember, I think uh, in the last game, we didn't. Uh, we had a pretty decent game there with uh, Gordon. But there you see a nice catch there from Keenan Allen. Allen hasn't been too uh, top of the, um, I guess, the top player or top receiver. has been, uh, haven't been thrown that often. And. We're trying to get that to go, get him going here as he only has one touchdown so far for the season. But we'll see now a second and 10 there. Got stopped there. And that is going to be now a third and 10 here as I believe that was uh, Sue that stopped us there on that one. So good job there defensively there for the Rams as we'll see there. I'll throw this one up. That is going to be picked off and that is going to go back for a pick six here. Or no, it's going to get stopped there at the 43 yard line. Nice job there. From the defense there, but a bad job there from our quarterback. It's the third now interception now for Phillip Rivers. So now we'll go see the Rams back here on offense here. Goff throwing this one up the middle there. Nice catch there. Nice job getting away from the defender. Getting some room and getting that extra yardage there after the catch. And that's a huge first down there for the Rams. So the Rams now here getting stopped there by Todd Gurley. Who gets stopped there? Only five carries of 11 yards there. So He's, uh, we got him where we want him at here. We just got to try to get him off the field. Third and 12 here. Goff here is going to take off. He will get sacked there. Nice job. And that's how the first quarter will end as Ingram gets in there. Nice job there from the uh, pass rusher, the right in the pass rusher, or uh, no, uh, yeah, pass rusher there. Gets in there and gets the sack. As we'll see a nice kick here. This one is high and this is actually pretty deep. And they get this one, and now that's another three points on the board there for the Rams. So now we'll move on to a first and ten here, the second drive here for the Chargers here as they get a nice catch there as Keenan Allen gets this one. Now third and five here, a crucial third down here. Haven't been converting these too often here in this game so far here, as we'll see that one's going to get thrown there. That's going to be to Antonio Gates, and Gates will get this one. And I believe he'll be J. Well, no, they'll go ahead and give it to him. First and 10 for the Chargers. Now, ball on the 36-yard line here. Hand this one off to Todd Gurley. Gurley's going to run this one, and he stutters there a little bit as he's having a tough day there. Three carries for six yards. Not what the Coach Lynn wants right now. As we'll move on now to a third and six. Drop back here for uh, Rivers there. Nice catch there from Keenan Allen. He goes down the field there, midfield there, and that's going to be a beautiful catch there for him. Third reception in the game here, trying to get him in the end zone, as that's going to be a huge first down there for the Chargers. So now first and ten here, ball on the 46-yard line here, hand off to, ooh, nice stop there, uh, but a brutal hit there for Gordon as he gets stopped there at the 46. So loses a yard there on the play, second and 11 here, looking for a big play here. Looks like it's going to be a pass play. We've got Williams in motion. Rivers is going to drop back here. Rivers looking to go deep here. Throws this one there. That one's going to go deep. And that's going to be a reception there. It's going to be enough for the first down. Put him at the 31-yard line. First and 10 there. Nice catch there, I believe, from Williams. So now we'll see here. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line here. Uh, Chargers trying to get into the end zone here. They, gotta get, they can get back in this one just with a touchdown here. But they will stop Gordon there as he, again, just rough day for him. Only getting a couple there on the play. Second and eight now here. Big play. Going to possibly be a pass play here. As we'll see Rivers drops back here. Throws this one. Rifles that one over to the right-hand side there. And that is going to be just enough there from Keenan Allen, who has four catches now and 45 yards here. And he gets the first down. So first and ten now here. Just five minutes left before we get to the half. We'll see the ball on the 21-yard line here. Rivers trying to get his team on the on the. And we're in the end zone here before the half. And we'll see a nice run there from Gordon. Finally busting out one there. And there you see he gets to the 7-yard line there 
for the first down. So nice job there. For, it's just three and a half yards per carry here. Not what we want to see there from our uh, top halfback here. As we'll see now, first and ten, or first and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line here. Play clock running down to six. Hand this one off to the backup here. He gets in the end zone, and that is going to be a touchdown for the Chargers. And the Chargers are on the board. First touchdown of the season here for the backup. And that is going to be now a 6-6 six six ball game. Of course, an extra point pending. And we'll lead it now by seven or by one. Here will be a 7-6 ball game. So we got a bit of a baseball score here. As we'll see it now, seventh, uh, first and or third and six here for the Rams here. See if they can convert for this first down here. As they haven't been doing too a good job there, but oh, nice job there from Melvin Gordon getting the second sack in the game here for him, second tackle, and they get pushed back quite a bit there. Lose ten on the play, as uh, the Rams having a tough go here on this drive here. Not like the first two drives already in this uh, ball game that they've been able to march down the field here. Rams or hey, the Chargers. Finally getting something going here for themselves. So first and 10 now here. Ball on the 48-yard line after the punt. We'll see here with their own 46. As a, it was actually a pretty weird punt there situation. But we'll get a nice catch there from Kenan Allen who gets the catch. And that's going to be enough there for the first down. Mark him at the 30 inside of the Rams territory. So now first and 10 here. Ball on the 30. 215 left here in the quarter. As we'll see, this one gets tossed up there and oh, gets batted away there. I believe it by uh, Talib. He gets in there, he gets his hands in there, and bats it away. So, third and three now, ball in the 25 or 23 yard line here. Two minutes left here. Gordon's going to run this one here and runs it up the middle with no problem. Finally getting tackled there at the nine. Nice hustle there from him. There you see, seven carries for 35 yards now here in the ball game. So a minute 45 left here. We'll see what the Rams can do here. They can pretty much do anything they want right now. They can run it or pass. It looks like they're gonna look like it's gonna be a possibly a run. Hand this one off to Gordon. Gordon's gonna change the direction there. Does a nice, nice little cut move there and moves over and gets a couple yards there. About four on the play. Put him at the five yard line. So now second and goal here. Ball on the five yard line. We'll see with uh, just under a minute here left. Gordon's going to run this one. And Gordon trying to get into the end zone there, but he'll get stopped at the two, only gaining uh, three yards on the play. So now we go see with ball in the two-yard line. Time is still ticking. Rams still have all their timeouts here. They're going to go ahead and try to milk this one as much as they possible, but they can't get it in there, so they're going to have to be called timeout here, and that's exactly what they'll do, and they'll have to probably settle for three points here. As you see, Coach Lynn's going to call a timeout there and possibly just go for a field goal here and be up by four here and going to the half. As there's seven seconds left here, ball on the two-yard line here. Should be an easy kick, a 19-yard kick. No problem there for Sturgis as he is going to kick this one here. We'll see if it's going to be up. It is up, and it is good. And that is going to put the lead now here for the Rams with only four seconds left. That should right there be the end of the first half as we'll see what the Rams can do now here. They're going to have, of course, change some things here, get the running game going for themselves, not to mention get Keenan Allen and Gates involved. I would even say uh, uh, have uh, Williams and Benjamin involved also as they really need to get the passing game going there for themselves against these are tough, uh, this really tough offensive uh, team of the uh, the Rams. Not to mention, we haven't seen too much of uh, Aaron Donald in this game. We did see some of Sue, who got a good tackle there. We haven't seen Aaron Donald, so uh, I don't know. I shouldn't be saying that, but uh, I don't want to jinx him. But that's one per definitely probably one person we will have to watch out for going into the second half. So take a look here at some of the scores around the league here. I love the new um, uh, uh, pre-show here, or the uh, not pre-show, but the halftime show here. They show what's going on around the league, especially against, uh, you know, the guys in your division, see what they're doing, especially I'm sure they'll show some more special things going on when we get uh, closer and closer to the playoffs and stuff like that. It's closer to the end of the season there, but uh, just a great uh, halftime show there. I, I like it. I hope they implement it in a lot more into what's uh, going on around the league and what's going on in your division. As you see, some first half uh visuals there as we'll take now here see the numbers there so far for Gordon and like I said we got to get that running game going 10 carries 
and only 42 yards, so four, about uh, four, close to four and a half yards per carry. As we go first and ten here, ball in the 25 yard line here for the Chargers. As they'll have, we'll see Rivers here drops back here. He's looking for something deep. Throws this one. That's going to be a nice catch there. The Gates. And Gates trying to run this one, but they go ahead and they're going to get him there at the 45. A nice play. Uh, 20 on the play. We'll see now here if uh, first and 10. And we'll see there. It could be a run there from Gordon. And Gordon, well, he's going to find gets himself going there as he gets a couple yards there. Now we'll go to the third and eight here. A big down here for the Rams offense here. Try, trying to keep this drive alive here and keep pushing here as they'll need it to try to get the lead here. We'll see if Phillip Rivers drops back too far and too deep, but he gets sacked as easily gets in there and gets the sack there. Big play there for the Rams defense. Now they get an opportunity now for the Rams offense to come out here and see what they can do. So now Rams offense will come out here. He'll hand See this one being handed off to Todd Gurley, and Gurley will get stopped there at the nine. As uh, we got some really good punt, uh, punting there earlier in, uh, in that drive there, or in the special teams there. We'll see Gurley now here in the stop in the backfield again, and he'll get stopped, but only gained two on the play. So Actually, loses two on the play, I should say. So we'll see now third and 12 here for the Rams here. Can they get out of the hole here? We'll see uh, Goff here throws this one there. They get enough there to get the first down. Not what you want to see your defense do after having a just being successful there in the first two downs or so. But now they have to get him back, try to get him in that uh, position again here as they see Gurley fighting for those extra yards there and gets the first, or just shy of the first down. We'll go now to a third and two. Can the Chargers get these ramps off the field here? As we'll see Todd Gurley again run this one here. Trying to strip the ball from him, but that's not going to happen. And Gurley gets enough there for the first down. So Gurley... Is starting to get going here, and we got to try to shut that down here. If we uh, don't, it's, we're definitely going to be in trouble. We'll see the backup will come in now, Kelly, and he'll get a short gain there of about four yards on the play. Second and six. Cal of course, uh, the uh, Chargers here are just trying to get, do their best here. And oh, a nice hit there. That is from Joey Bosa. Bosa going in there, hitting Gurley, and showing him, hey, you're not going to get no more out of us. So we'll see here, third and ten here. We'll see if the Chargers will, uh, can keep that up here and just get a hold of the quarterback here. As you see, this one gets tossed away there. No one can get to that one. And Goff, there you see now, 7 or 12 now here in the game. And that is not going to do any good. So now we'll go ahead and flash forward now to the uh, the fourth quarter here. Not much going on in the third quarter. Stays remain 10 to 6 here. And we'll see. Uh, the Chargers have the ball here on the 30. They're inside the Rams territory here. Look, trying to score here. We'll see now second into 11 here. And we'll see what Rivers can do here. Rivers trying to go find somebody. Finds his half back there. Throws this one. And the backup there gets a nice catch for uh, just shy of the first down there. So it'll be a third and one now for the Rams. Or, or should say the Chargers here. Trying to get this one in there. Ball in the 20-yard line here. Run this one there. The fullback gets in there, and he does his job there as Watt gets in there and gets the six yards uh, more, than, really more than he needed there for the first. So now ball in the 13-yard line here. Chargers trying to get a score here. They can get this one. They pretty much have this one in the bag as their defense has been really stepping up here in the second half. We'll see Rivers throws this one there. That gives that one to Gates, and Gates gets to the seven-yard line. As he has stopped there. So now second and four. Ball on the seven. Play clock running down here. Can they pull this play off? Rivers does. He looks looking for somebody in the end zone. He finds there's two guys there. But it's too late as they get a hold of uh, him. And that's a bad sack. Not what you want there. So now we get a little bit more room into the end zone now here. We'll see what he, Rivers can do now with a third and nine. This one, I'm pretty sure this one's going to have a good feeling. This one's going to go to the end zone. That one gets in there, and oh, it's in the end zone. But Benjamin, I believe, cannot hold on to it. And that's a tough luck there for him. As he is, yeah, he is, uh, or I know it was Williams actually dropped, and Benjamin trying to go over there and calm him down. Not what you want to see there. As we'll see now, a 29-yard attempt here for the uh, Sturges here. Sturges trying to put up another three points now. For his Chargers, 
cohorts, and they will kick this one there, and that is going to be good. Now it's a 13-6 ball game. Still gives the Rams the opportunity to get back in this one. All they need is a touchdown, and they can get right back in here. So we'll see now. Rams on the field here. And, uh, empty back set there. We'll see Golf here. Drops back here. He's going to drop back deep. Throws this one under coverage there. And it's going to get the uh, receiver there as he will get about, uh, about five yards on the play. We'll go now to second and five. We'll see what Golf can do in this situation as he's going to throw this one there and rifles that one. Nice catch there as receiver gets a hold of that one. And that is going to be enough there to get the first. As again, another catch there from number 17. I'm not sure who exactly who that is. My guys might want to tell me down there below in the comments section. But we'll see here. It's going to be an encroachment there. And it's going to be on Joey Bosa. So they're going to call that on Bosa. That's going to be an automatic first down. And it's going to be a, uh, actually it's going to be a five-yard penalty. It's going to be a first and five now. So the neutral zone infraction there on him. As we'll now see the ball in the 42-yard line here. Snap this one here. We'll see Goff here. Cannot find nobody. He is getting hit hard, and that is going to be a sack there for the defense as Brown comes in there for the sack. Third sack now of the day there for the Chargers as Chargers defense doing a good job of getting hold of the QB. As we'll see now, second and 12 here. Goff throws this one up there. That is going to be picked off, and that's going to go the other way. As King gets the interception there. Nice timing there. Gets a hold of the uh, ball there and gets out of bounds. As he's try he tried his best to stay in there. And you see Coach Lynn's like, oh, come on. Dude, catch the ball. Stay in bounds. We could have another six points there. But there's that little leap uh, thing there. I think that was my fault. I think I hit the uh, triangle button too soon. But Everett, that was meant for Everett there. And that's going to be a nice pick there. And that's going to be the first pick of the day there. For the Chargers in the first interception now, uh, this I believe for Goff here now. So first and ten here, hand this one off there. You see that's going to go to the backup as he runs this one there, and that is just going to be a two-yard gain there for a, a second and eight now. So ball on the 31-yard line. We'll see what Rivers can do. Is the Rivers going to drop back here? He's looking. Trying to find something deep. He tries to find somebody, but can he find somebody? Yes, he does. And that is going to be a completed pass there from Kane and Allen. Nice catch. Kane and Allen, seven receptions, 93 yards. Trying his best to get him into the end zone here. As we'll see now, first and 10 here from a great catch there from Kane and Allen. Ball in the 11-yard line. Rivers looking here. Fires this one. Fires this one up the middle there. And that is going to go, I believe, to Benjamin who gets the catch. Nice play. His first touchdown of the day here in this one. Him and Allen celebrating there. And it's now a 19-6 ball game. What a way. Just that, just that, you know, just an interception right there. That's what we needed to get us all our offense going there. And that's exactly what we got. I see there are three plays, 33 yards. Rivers now on the board again here. As you see. Benjamin getting the touchdown here today. As you see, Jarrett Goff there, 9 of 15. He has just not been too good here. 107 yards, one interception, no touchdowns. So we'll see now with four minutes left here in the quarter. We'll see first and 10 here. Goff throws this one up the middle here. Trying to get his offense going. Trying to get something. Trying to just get some kind of mercy points here. And show that they're better than, what they, than we thought they were. As uh, we see now, first and 10 here, ball in the 36. We'll see Goff here hands this one off to Gurley. Gurley got some good blocking there and gets enough for a first down. That's what you want to see from your run blocking there. Lineman right up there, right up front, making sure protecting their linebacker or their uh, running back there. And they did a great job there. Now we'll go 30 inches here. We'll see Goff here drops back here, fires, and that is not going to be anything there. As that one gets battled away, there, nice job from the defense stepping up. So now, last chance now for the Rams to try to do something here. Try to get something on the board, as we'll see fourth and inches here. Todd Gurley running this one here. Todd Gurley got enough there. Yes, he did. And he gets the first down. So first and ten here for the Rams here. 209 left here. We'll see Goff throws this one up there. Throws that one. That one's going to go deep. Finally, 
getting hold of the receiver and bringing him down there at the 19. Not what we want right now here as the Rams not going to go away in this ball game here. As we go see a first and 10 here. Ball in the 19. Goff's dropping back here. Throws this one under coverage there. Nice hit there. And no, man, talk about just ouch. As we get to the two-minute warning here, Reynolds is uh, probably hurting on that one there. He's probably thinking, uh, probably uh, thinking like, okay, seriously, what truck hit me? As we'll see second and five here, Gurley just bulldozer over the line there and gets a first down. Minute 45 left. Rams, I like this. They're not They're not going to go back down here. They're going to keep fighting. Golf's going to run in for this one. He's going to get the rushing touchdown. And the Rams are on the board here as they get one late. But could it not? It's not possible for them to come back. But anything can happen because, you know, football is funny like that. As we'll see Golf in the uh, in the quarterback run here in the replay. Gets that one. No problem there. No one can get a hold of him. And he is in the end zone. As we'll see what the Rams have in store here. Good chance here we'll see an onside kick. As it's a 20-13 to 13 ball game. As we'll see, they decide to kick this one deep. They're trying to, they got more faith. They got a lot of faith in their defense there. They, they, they can stop us, but they're going to have to run it, burn a timeout here with a minute 36 left here in the quarter. So we'll see what the Rams can do here with two timeouts remaining. We'll see if we can try to run this clock here as we have our backup in the uh, backfield there. And he gets hit hard there. And not much on that one as we now go to a third and seven. And we'll see what Lynn is going to do here. He possibly could flirt, uh, possibly could flirt with the idea of going on fourth down. But uh, we'll see how it goes here. We'll see the Rams here. They got one timeout remaining. Got a man in motion. Rivers here looking. Fires this one. That's going to be enough for the first down. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is, is the ball game. As Keelan Allen gets the first down. But he got knocked out of bounds. So the clock is going to stop here. And the Rams now have a first down here. All they have to do now is just run the clock here. And have the Rams burn a timeout. And they'll pretty much have this one in the bag. As we'll see a nice run there. Trying to get the football there. But they, uh, the halfback here will hold on to it. And the Rams will burn their last well, final timeout here in this game. As we'll see uh, them run this clock. At least run this play, uh, run play one more time here to get a clock going. As we have a third and five. And with uh, 45 seconds left here, the halfback will run this one. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the ball game. So the Battle of Los Angeles, at least this year, belongs to the uh, players and the team of the Chargers there. As uh, L.A. Chargers win this one here at the Coliseum. And a nice victory there. 20-13 to 13 is your final score. As the Rams now have to... Try to figure out what they can do now here uh, coming up in the uh, next coming week now as they're undefeated now here. And we'll see exactly uh, what they'll see. We'll have to see what they come up with next week as I believe next week they have a uh, road game. But for us, well, it's going to be a nice victory here as we are able to defeat our foes uh, of the, the other Los Angeles team this year and get the victory. There you see Rivers, 20 of 26, 233 yards, 76% of his passes are complete. One touchdown, one interception. Golf on the hand, not such a great day there. 12 of 21, 57% uh, of the passes are complete. He only had 156 yards, one interception, and no touchdown in the game. As for rushing, Todd Gurley, 15 carries, 40, 41 yards, two broken tackles. Gordon, 12 carries for 44 yards, no touchdowns. And two broken tackles there. Uh, Austin Ecker, there you see there, 10 carries, 17 yards. Uh, not a good running, you know, just close to two yards per carry. But he did get the uh, rushing touchdown that we needed. And, of course, Golf did also. Keenan Alley still having a tough time here. Getting over 100 yards now, I believe, in all three games so far. But only has one touchdown for the season so far. we got to get him in the end zone. Antonio Gates, four carry, uh, four receptions, 33 yards there. No inter no touchdowns this week. 
Uh, Benjamin, you see two receptions, 17 yards, and one touchdown. We, like I said, got to get both of those guys uh, involved in the passing game. We got to get them going as quickly as we possibly can uh, because those are, you know, our guys that we need to really get going here in the passing game. And there you see the defensive numbers there. You guys can pause the video and check those out. But for the most part here, it was a pretty good day. Uh, James had five tackles for us, uh, along with uh, Joey Bosa, four tackles, three tackles for loss. Perryman, uh, five tackles. King, uh, four tackles, an interception. Brown, four tackles, tackle for loss, and a sack. And Melvin Ingram, of course, three tackles, tackle for loss, and two sacks in the game for him in this one. So a nice game for us and really truly for our defense they did a great job there in the game now we're just hoping that that will carry on into week four as we get ready to stay in the state of california this time we're going to go up to northern california actually no we're going to stay home actually and we're going to go uh, we're going to play against a northern californian team and that will be the 49ers we'll see the 49ers in action right now 49ers 0 and 3 and they've been having a rough go here they've actually uh, the last two games were pretty close games there, and now they're could uh, they're now coming into us. And uh, if you know anything about this series, usually or the, any of my Madden series, usually when a team like this comes in town against us, it usually is not too good for us. Usually turns out to be the game that gets us uh, for the season. So we'll have to see if we can try to avoid that here in this one, and try to see if we can get a nice victory here against these uh, 49ers so uh, Jimmy Garoppolo and company will be in action of course Richard Sherman remember he is now with the uh, 49ers defense here so that's definitely a person that we're gonna have to avoid here when it can when it comes to the passing game here we don't want to deal with him and and have him on our uh, behinds all game long so we'll let's see what we can do there in that game but it is a home game should be a nice one for us there coming up in the next episode so stay tuned for episode four as we take on the 49ers coming up in this Los Angeles Chargers franchise. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more uh, more uh, Madden 19, uh, the uh, LA Chargers franchise here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. And check out the other great series here we have on the channel. But as always, keep yourselves each other healthy. And I will see you guys next time.